A United States district judge has found disgraced former FIFA vice president Austin Jack Warner in default in a U.S. $20 million lawsuit brought against him by CONCACAF. Judge William Kuntz entered judgment last week Monday against Warner, who is facing extradition to the U.S. in a separate criminal case. Warner, who is also a former president of CONCACAF, is accused of taking millions in bribes and kickbacks. In 2011, a guy named Mohammed bin Hammam was running for FIFA president and he came to Trinidad for the express purpose of handing out cash in exchange for the votes that Warner controlled. Here's a video of Jack giving out the bribes to the Caribbean Football Union. And if there is anybody here who has a conscience, I wish to send back the money, I am willing to take it and give it back to him. The year before that, $750,000, dollars intended to help the victims of the Haiti earthquake disappeared in Warner's accounts. In 2008, he received what sure looks like $10 million in bribes for making sure the next World Cup went to South Africa. And he got Nelson Mandela to visit Trinidad for a private fundraiser benefiting, you guessed it, Jack Warner as part of the deal. In 2006, he promised big bonuses to the players of the Trinidadian national team, and he never paid up. It is alleged that Warner and fellow former FIFA official Chuck Blazer made a fortune through embezzlement. November 19, 1989. The U.S. comes down for this must-win qualifier. So does someone else, Chuck Blazer. We now know he became Warner's partner in crime for the next two decades. They plot Warner's rise. He's already a FIFA vice president, but it isn't until the following year that he'll be elected president of CONCACAF. Warner never responded to the lawsuit by CONCACAF after he was served with it in October of 2017. It also sought U.S. $20 million in compensatory damages and unspecified punitive damages. It includes the cost of the Center of Excellence at Macquarie, which is also the focus of a separate claim in the local courts. For more stories such as this and others, please subscribe to Ron Studio. This is Ronald George reporting for Ron Studio. Thank you for watching.